Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this class, I'm just going to do algebraic close offsets and this is just my part one. So please make sure that you go through our part two. Let's quickly get started. So the first question is saying, express the following sets in simplest form. So I'm going to write my solution. And then what I've been given is that open bracket, A complement union, and then I have A minus B, and then cross bracket, and lastly, we have a complement outside. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to multiply this complement by everything there so a complement times complement the answer is simply a and then union times complement the answer is intersection then this bracket because we have bracket there so this will simply a minus b and then that complement will just simply go there after that we are going to say a intersection and then we are going to say a intersection b complement and then that side this will be just a complement outside so once we are done with that we can simply say uh, a intersection and then we are going to multiply this complement by what is inside so this will just simply be a complement union b so this is what we currently have so once we have that we can move on and use the distributive law. So when using the distributive law, we are going to say this will be open bracket A intersection that A complement, A complement, and then close bracket, we are also going to say union, which is the one in between there, and then open bracket A intersection B, like that. After that, we know A intersection, A complement, the answer is simply empty set, union, and then we lastly have A intersection B. So please make sure that you check up your lecture notes, which we had during the physical class for you to know the rules of algebraic laws. So from there, you know that um, empty set, union, any set, the answer is that set. So in this case, you just have A union B as the final answer. So this was the final answer for this question. Please, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. And in case you want to register with Excel Academy, feel free to WhatsApp us. Let's quickly look at question two. So question two is also saying, express the following in simplest form. So we are simply going to do the next part, which is our two. So from what we have been given, we have open bracket A union B and then cross bracket minus B complement. So what we are going to do is we'll say A union B and then we are going to say intersection that minus will go to intersection and this b will be b complement complement so there this will be a union b and then intersection so b complement complement the answer is simply b after we do that we can use the distributive law actually here you can just even relate it as b intersection open bracket a union b since intersection is commutative so at this particular point i've just rewritten this using the commutative law so once i'm done with that my next step is just to simply use the distributive law so using the distributive law this will simply be b intersection a and then cross bracket I'm going to have my union and then open bracket uh, B union, um, B union, not B union, it's going to be intersection there. So B intersection, um, B intersection B. So there it will be B intersection B. 
So once we have that, we can simply B intersection A. The answer is just uh, B intersection A. Nothing will change there. Then you have union and then you are saying uh, B intersection B. The answer is simply B. So if you look at these two sets, B intersection A, union B, since this is a big set, this one is a big set, so this is a big set, and then this one is a small set, this guy is a small set. I think this one, I explained it in terms of the Venn diagram in class, whereby I said, let's assume we have, let's say this is set A, and this is set b so this is set a this is set b so if we are if we were to sketch for the a intersection b so a intersection b i'm going to shade it so this is your universal set so a intersection b it is the guy in red okay this guy in red so red like always red is a intersection b and then if I was to sketch um, set B alone, so set B is the guy who I'm going to sketch in yellow. So this is yellow and yellow is just simply representing set B. So if you unite set A intersection B with set B, the answer is just set B. So the answer here is just B. So this is how easily these questions were and please note that these questions are coming from the past papers which are the test quizzes and also the final exams. Please make sure that you contact us and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. Thank you very much for, for joining me. This was Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy.